I noticed my vision loss very, very young. I'm talking like eight years old. I would run into things, maybe even earlier than that. Running into things, you know, uh, not seeing things properly. Um, but of course, nobody knew anything about blind, you know, I never, never thought I'd ever go blind, but it was just kind of difficult uh, growing up with very poor peripheral vision. So I could see straight ahead, but things to my side, below me, I couldn't really see it. I loved the fact of uh, being able to see edges of things, to be able to uh, just see contrasts of things. You know, the, the sense of sight is what I'm really most looking forward to. Retinitis pigmentosa is a hereditary retinal degeneration in which the cells that gather the light called the photoreceptors unfortunately degenerate uh, during a person's young age. And so what begins to happen is they start losing their nighttime vision and then over time their side vision gradually narrows down so they're left with tunnel vision. And in about 1% of patients, the visual loss is so bad that they lose all sensation of light. This is a model of the Argus II implant, which is totally self-contained around the eyeball itself. And the hardware goes around the eye. It then is connected to this electrode array, to this piece here, which is the part that sits on the retina and stimulates the retina. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's 60 little dots here. These are the electrodes that sit on the retina and that will stimulate it with electrical impulses. So the patient wears a camera on their head and this camera then translates all of the objects it sees into light and dark. And then the, it sends a signal to a video processing unit that then simplifies the vision that the camera is seeing to stimulate parts of the electrode to tell the patient where the barriers are in the patient's field of vision. And there's somebody right there. Yeah, that's our videographer. Yeah, hello, videographer. <laughs>